Good morning and welcome back to part three of our creation series. I'm in my garden again today, about to take a look and see how things are growing. I love to come out every day and see how things have changed, how things grow. It reminds me of creation and God's love. Let's watch this song. Everybody stand up and let's sing. We're gonna sing the creation song. We're gonna start by counting from one to seven and moving our arms like this. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue and way up high. Whoa. You hear you say, whoa. Whoa. Day number three. On day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Sing out those woes. Whoa. Sing God made you. On day number five, God made birds and fish, dolphins and whales and things that go squish. On day number six, God made animals and bugs, foxes and cubs, all for us to hug. Whoa. You hear those wolves? Whoa. Sing day number six. On day number six, God also made man. He said it was good and part of his plan. On day number seven, God stopped. To rest, he saw what he made, it was his best woe. Sing out those woes. Whoa. I mean, he's saying, God made you. That was a great song about creation. I love to see how God created everything. And why? Because he loved us so much. Watch this Bible story about creation. Put on your listening ears. Here we go. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day 
and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, Let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Uh -oh. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea, Hello, man. the birds in the sky, Hello, man. and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Wow, I love the story of creation. I love to learn about how God made everything. If ever I need a reminder about God's love, all I need to do is to look around and see trees and bushes or look in my garden and see how things grow. These didn't happen by accident, but the greatest of these in creation was man. God created man because he loved us. And when he created everything, remember, God said that it was good. And where do we find that? In Genesis 1.31. Let's sing another song. Everybody stand up and let's sing. All right, can you guys all stomp your feet like elephants? Good job. This song is Genesis 131, and we're going to sing God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was good. So you guys, let's sing it out together. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow, that was another great song. I love Genesis 131 because that God saw what he had made and it was good. Now, before we close out today, I wanna to share one more thing. As a gardener, I know the importance of having the right soil when I grow things. I have to make sure that the soil has plenty of food and nutrients in it to make sure that the plants can grow big and strong. Now, God created man 
But did you know that he formed him from the dust of the earth? Whoa, from dirt? Is that why you have dirt in your ear? No, God made us from the dust of the earth. And then he breathed into us the breath of life. Just like that. That was awesome. And why did God do that? Because he loved us so much. That's it for this week. Come back next week for one more lesson on creation. Have a blessed week. See you later.